Cadman Turner. I'm a professional wrestler and I am known as the Mighty Cadman. I'm from a country town. It's uh, called it's Bendigo, Victoria, which is in Australia. Wrestling was sort of like banned in our house because uh, dad, dad's into martial arts and he's like, oh, you know, you can't watch that crap. Um, but then I, then I would go to my friend's place and like we'd watch Smackdown on like Saturday nights and then we'd beat up his little brother and then like we'd make, um, it was when the Dudleys were really big and we'd make tables out of like pizza boxes and stuff and like <laughs> and like give each other, yeah, give each other 3Ds through the, through the pizza boxes. <laughs> but I always wanted to be an entertainer. And I, oh, I always pictured myself playing cricket for Australia. But when I did it, I only ever did it because like, I wanted to entertain. If you and I became a team, we could destroy everyone. Not only in battle art, but all over the world. So there was an advertisement in, in like the paper that there's a wrestling show coming to town. Like this is in Bendigo, like nothing like that comes to Bendigo. So we went, me and my friend went, and it was just like in this bush like field. And Orlando Jordan was there. So he was like, he was like the US champion, that sort of stuff. I'm like, oh yeah. And I, at the end of the show, I was just sort of like, Hover, loitering around the ring and like just like I guess being a wrestling fan and I started speaking to Orlando and he's like yeah I've just moved to I've just moved to Melbourne and I've got a wrestling school and I'm like oh yeah and he's like yeah he's like you're welcome to come down like join in so then like I really like like it was like I was, I'm either gonna do it or I'm not gonna do it eventually I'm like yeah whatever I'll do it so I started going down and then that was like the beginning. Lando sort of taught us the very basics, the raw basics of like bumping and running the ropes. Like I met a, a guy named Ali Vaez. He was the OVW heavyweight champion. And he was the one who taught me a lot. Like he taught me a lot of the psychology stuff. And it's funny, Rip trained Ali, Rip trained Anthony, and now Anthony trains me and Ali trained me. So like it was a whole weird thing. And then I met Rip, like it was, it was pretty interesting. And, and then I was at a show in Melbourne and Anthony was there. That, that was the first time I met Anthony. So he was like the draw for, the, for our show. And then the day after we did a seminar with him. The seminar was probably what sealed the deal because he, um, the way he was explaining stuff was very different. And it was sort of, uh, which is why the battle arts style is unique. Like this is the best facility outside of the WEPC, like hands down. Like you're not gonna get a place like this anywhere else. And if I leave, I know I'm gonna go train in a gym in like a tiny little shed type thing where this is like immaculate. I was very picky with trainers. I always wanted somebody who had done it, you know? And then I met Orlando and I knew Orlando had done it. And then Ali, I knew Ali was good. And then Anthony is again. So I've only ever like, being trained by good people. When an athlete like Cadman walks through the door, it's like a gift from God. He's big, he's strong, he has a fantastic personality. Um, coming from Australia, he's coming here for you know doors to be opened and opportunities. And he's learning a lot. When he first got here, he thought he, he knew a little more than he did and he kind of realized he was humbled a little bit, but that didn't deter him at all. He started training hard and really embracing our philosophy here. And now he's escalating. He's in a tag team with Karu right now. And this tag team has the potential to be on, to wrestle at any level. NXT, WWE, we just gotta polish them up, get them in front of the right eyes, and they're gonna go places, absolutely. I like watching him because I know that he's so passionate about it. I get proud of him, I guess. And I, I can't wait to hear what he says about it because I know that he's always like he's going to be really happy if he did a good job. He hasn't come from any, you know, professional sporting backgrounds or, um, or anything like that. But to see him, the you know, transformation of his body, he lost a lot of weight, got super, super lean. Um, and the, what he's been able to do, you know, in the ring, um, not just physically, but the way he holds himself and the, what, um, the way he holds the crowd. Still a chat, baby. Hey. Been amazing. So... And you know, in such a short period of time with the limited resources he had, um, I think probably has really demonstrated to me more than anything how much potential he does have.
wrestling was never about the money for me. Like, I, I, I'd do it for free, you know? Like, um... But now that I'm into it, it's like... I don't want a lot of money, I just want some money. As long as I can actually say I pay my bills wrestling, that's all I care about. It's like... That's what drives me. To be able to quit, like, working a real life. <laughs> Yeah!